Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out HBAR's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every single header video, I need to tell you that the long term scenario, in my opinion, in terms of Elliott Waves, is absolutely bullish because in my opinion, this can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up into a wave 1 and followed by that, we are having a correction for wave 2 and after our correction is over, we are going to get a big move up into wave 3 and 4 and 5 and just a minimum target for this wave 3 right in here is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the highest high in here about, let's say, 61 cents. So, in the long term, we are definitely bullish. Now, short to midterm we can have different possibilities if you want to be bearish in h bar spice chart and say the bottom is not in yet you can argue that off of the lowest low we are having an a b c on the upside and not an impulsive movement and basically this whole structure right in here is actually a correction and after it's over we're going to get a move down in our time to set new lows and take the lowest low about let's say three and a half cents this is definitely a possibility on the other hand if you want to go with a bullish scenario let's go on another chart i think it was from coinbase yep see if you want to be bullish you can say this is a one two three four five wave impulsive structure up off of the lowest row probably an expanding leading diagonal into a larger degree wave one and followed by that this move down is going to be a correction for wave two and after it's over we're gonna get a big move up into wave three four five and basically, this scenario suggests that the bottom is set. This is also another likely scenario. So, which one is going to be in play? For now, at least, I cannot tell you for sure. But here is a very important point. Let's go back on our own chart. I think it was this. There we go. Okay. If we remember, the last time that we made a video about HBAR, we were saying, look, this is an extremely extremely important support area the lower band of it is about let's say 5.7 and the higher band of it is about six and a half cents and this is from weekly and daily time frame at the same time which adds a lot of validity to this very important region and if we get god forbid a break of this support meaning we go under it and then pull back and a continuation of the move down in order to take this low at that point our move down in h bar can actually continue and we are more likely than not going to set new lows and take the lowest low in here about three and a half cents but as long as we are above this very important region we can say well, okay in h bar whether we're gonna have the bullish possibility or maybe this bearish scenario we're gonna get at least another move up in our time to take the highest high in this area about let's say 18 18 and a half cents so what happened since we talked about h bar in the previous video as you can see we actually got this move on the upside right in here which in my opinion can actually be a decently bullish sign now let's zoom in a bit more in here and see can we count some subways so here is the situation i think you can say that this is going to be for example from this point to about here maybe sure or here doesn't really matter five up into a wave one correction for wave two and then another move up into wave three four five and follow by that we are having a correction down in here maybe an a b c s russia sure and then from this point we may have one two and then sure big move up into wave three correction for four another move on the upside into wave five now here's a very important point on a higher degree we may have something like this see this can be from here five up into a wave one correction for wave two and if you remember when we were somewhere around these areas in the previous video i was saying well okay because it seems like that we are having a five wave on the upside we may actually get after this move down is over another move up in h bar spread shot in our time to take this side and as you can see we are actually having it right now and i think this move up can be into this larger degree wave three and four and five and this is going to be also another one or two but on a lower degree relative to this one or two right in here and the idea is that right now we are on our way to have a big move into wave three four five according to the bullish possibility and at that point this red five up is going to be into this larger degree wave three and then correction for four and we're going to have yet another move up into wave five so basically in here we are going to have as you can see starting from this point the sub waves for this larger degree wave three right in here now this is going to be 
the bullish sign in h bars price chart and if you see a move up soon in our time to complete these sub waves it is going to be fantastic can we have a bearish scenario yes you see i can tell you what okay maybe we are actually going to get a move on the upside in form of yeah sure let's say a five wave impulsive structure into this wave three and then correction for another walk into wave five but at that point if you want to be bearish you can say this is going to be just an abc zigzag structure on the upside and after our move up is over we're going to get a move down in our time to take the lowest low in this area now here is a very important point if in the next couple of days you see a move down in h bar price charts if i just delete this one there we go in our time to take this low right in here about let's say 6.4 cents at that point there is going to be like a very very high chance that this whole move is just a correction structure and not an impulsive movement and most likely the bottom is not in yet unfortunately so why is that because if i just delete this one there we go you see when you compare the length of this move on the upside to this one let's actually measure it from this point to about here and let's actually put the chart first on regular there we go as you can see these two moves on the upside in terms of size they are actually decently matched and if we get a move down in h bar and net we take this low right in here at that point this means look this is going to be just maybe an abc or maybe a wxy in form of a double zigzag and again off of the lowest slope it means we're just going to have a correction up and not an impulsive movement and our move down more like than not it's not over yet so again if we get a move down and take this slow it is going to be a very important person on the other hand if we continue this move on the upside in our time to get back above this very important level which the lower band of it is about seven and a half and the higher band of it is about 8.1 cents and at the same time as you can see we take these highs right in here it is going to be an amazing sign for h bar that suggests most likely the bottom is actually in if you want to be bullish with a lot of confidence and you want to have the ultimate bullish sign well okay you need to actually wait a bit more and see a move up in our time to take this high right in here about let's say 12 cents if we take this high at that point we can say okay this is definitely an a b c s russia on the outside and our move up is definitely going to continue and it, we are going to take this high right in here about 18 and a half cents for the first target so for now the fact that in the short term we are getting a move up it's a very very bullish sign but i need to see this move up continue a bit more and in it we go above this very important level and take these highs right around these areas now what is going on in terms of indicators let's go on weekly time frame let's actually put the charts on our logarithmic there we go okay so as you can see in macd we are having a sell signal which is a bearish sign but in SOKRSI, as you can see we are actually having a buy signal which is a great sign however this thing is not confirmed yet we need to wait a bit more until the end of the week and at that point if we're gonna have this thing okay it's gonna be confirmed that this is a buy signal and because it's happening somewhere around the oversold region i believe it is actually going to have quite a bit of validity and more like than not as a result of it we are going to get some more moves on the upside in h1 and in daily time frame well okay great we are having a buy signal in macd and a stochastic rsi at the same time already which is fantastic so again if you want to be bullish in h bar first you do not need to see a move down from the current point in other time to take this low right in here and what you want to see is a continuation of this whole move on the upside right in here in other time to get back above this level and take these highs around these areas which the highest high is about let's say eight and a half cents and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in h bar anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye